Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, and in this week's episode of A Writer's View of Writing and Publishing, we're going to talk about whether or not it's safe for you to share your ideas with uh, about your stories with friends or with fellow conference goers, or you know, what are the concerns uh, in terms of protecting your intellectual property. The first place to start in discussing this is to understand U.S. copyright law. I'm not an attorney, but I think I know what I'm talking about here. As soon as you commit something to paper, as soon as you put your thoughts on paper or on the screen or make it, make it permanent, those thoughts are copyrighted automatically for the duration of your lifetime plus 70 years. Now, I believe that those copyrights, that copyright is extendable uh, by your heirs in the future. I'm not sure if that's the case. Uh, clarify it in the comments if there are any attorneys out there who are looking at this. Uh, but the act of creating something, in fact, triggers the copyright law. You don't have to put the little C in the circle and put the date and the poor man's copyright and all of that. None of that does any harm. It just doesn't do any good. Now, here's the tricky part. The copyright laws protect the presentation of your ideas, the words that you actually put down. It does not protect, the laws do not protect the ideas themselves. So when you share the, the set pieces or the really clever parts of your story with people, that presentation is not copyrighted. But nor is it, nor is it uh, copyrighted when you put it, the thoughts are not copyrighted when you put it on paper either. That's how we have so many books about vampires and about treasure hunters and, and uh, about freelance uh, mercenary types, the, the kind of uh, books that I write. I would never share the details, and I never do share the details of stories that I'm writing with anyone other than my agent and my editor and, and my family. If somebody asks me what I'm writing now, and the question comes up all the time, of course it comes up all the time, I tell people that uh, Jonathan Grave is a freelance hostage rescue specialist, and I go into some of the details of the character itself or himself, and maybe that it's taking place in Mexico or it's taking place in West Virginia or wherever the, the story is taking place. But I would never share the set pieces uh, that are going on simply because, you know, it's not that people are necessarily going to steal the idea from me. I don't think I hang out with a lot of thieves. Um, but, you know, the creative business, you never know where your ideas are coming from. So, uh, and, and as a practical matter, whoever gets it on paper first is the one who, uh, who originated it. So, you know, the, I, I urge everybody to be rather circumspect in these things. There's another reason why you should have that 10-second that uh, elevator speech ready to go at all times. So if people do ask about what you're writing, you tell them, the basics of the story. Tell them basics of the character. Uh, just keep the, the really good stuff to yourself. Now, having said that, sooner or later you're going to have to trust somebody. So when you're pitching uh, literary agents or when, when you're pitching industry people, it is perfectly okay in that circumstance to share whatever it is that, that they want to hear but this is all the more reason that you want to make sure that the people you're pitching to have been vetted. Uh, make sure that they are, in fact, professionals in their field and that they have a good reputation as such. Uh, I did a video on that. In fact, I'll link to the video at the end of, of this one where I talk about some of the considerations that go into uh, choosing a, a literary agent. Something else to keep in mind, and I mean no offense to my friends out there who are in the film business, but Hollywood is built on thievery. Um, not in the, in the material sense, but in, in the idea sense. Uh, and it's, it's just kind of a way of life, in my experience, in Hollywood, that everybody is looking for an idea wherever they can get it. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'm not, again, not, there are many, many honorable people in Hollywood but there are a lot of less than honorable people in Hollywood too. Just know who you're talking to. This is the, this is the, the standard I use. I wouldn't trust anybody with a, a, the, the story, a story idea. Let's put it this way. The only people I would trust with a story idea are the same people that I would trust with my ATM pin number. 
and that's a relatively small number of people. So that's it for today. Um, if you enjoy these things, please do subscribe. I know a lot of you folks watch this on Facebook, and that's fine. Uh, but if you would go down in the comments section where I've listed the link to my, uh, my uh, YouTube channel, please do subscribe to that. It, it helps. Uh, if you want more information on the writing process in general, please visit my website, johngillstrap.com. So until next time, y'all please take care. Please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap. <laughs>